are going to see about quadrant balance. So if the sample is available with the length less than 120 yards, then quadrant balance can be used to determine its count. So which means we are using this quadrant balance to identify the count of the particular yarn. So this is a direct yarn count balance. It consists of a quadrant scale fixed to the pillar. At the top of the pillar, pointer is pivoted so that, the, so that it moves over the face of the quadrant scale. So a cross beam is also pivoted in the same pivot of the pointer which has a sample hook and its one end and a counterweight at its another end. So the counterweight determines the capacity of the instrument. The quadrant scale is divided into three scales. The top scale can be used to find the weight per square yard of the cloth sample in ounce. The middle scale is used to find the count of the yarn of length 8 yards. And the third scale can be used to find the count of yarn of length 40 yards. So these slides show the uh, diagram of the quadrant balance. A represent quadrant scale. B it will represent pillar. C pointer. D counter weight. E sample hook where the sample is uh, placed for testing. And F is level screw. G is yarn sample. On the top of the pointer is the B remote, there is a small adjusting screw, the adjustment of which brings the pointer in line with the datum line. So the instrument can be leveled with the leveling screw provided at the base of the instrument. So to operate the instrument, it is calibrated after leveling with the base screw. A counterweight marked 40s is used for the calibration. For the counterweight is suspended from the sample hook. If the balance is level, the pointer reads 40s on the 40 yard scale. If it does not read 40s, the pivot of the pointer is adjusted until it reads 40s on the 40 yard scale. If a sample of length 8 yard is used, it is count can be noted from the 8 yard scale. And if the sample of length 40 yard is used, the count can be noted from the 40 yard scale. I hope you all understand the quadrant balance working system. Thank you. Now we are going to see about crop meter. Introduction. Rubbing means friction. Fastest towards friction it is measured by an instrument called crop meter. The fabric we use every day is always gone through rubbing action. By different ways hence the color of the fabric is faded down. Details on crop meter. Cropping is a transfer of colorant from the surface of the colored yarn or fabric to another surface or to an adjacent area of the same fabric, principally by rubbing. Crop meter which is worked by creating an artificial friction to measure the rubbing fastness of the fabric, crop meter is used. So this is done both in dry and wet condition and the cropping cloth is used with the sample in crop meter. So the sample is gone through the rubbing action in the crop meter and after rubbing color change the under color straining it is assessed with the help of gray scale. Apparatus and materials used ISO 105 AATCC8. So crop meter, cotton rubbing fabric, gray scale, stopwatch, weight that is 9N, color matching cabinets. Conditioning. At first cut the specimen is 5 to 5 cm. The sample has to be tested in the delivered conditions. So the fabric or sample has to be at conditions at least 8 hours by standard climate that is 20 degrees Celsius by 65 percentage of relative humidity. So the air conditioned specimen has to be rubbed with the dry and wet cotton rubbing cloth in warm, wet or diagonal directions or face side. The test directions has to be noted in the test report. Use always cotton test materials from James Key Cotton Rubbing Cloth ISO 105 F09. For a correct test result, the rubbing point on cotton must show an even straining with an exact circle. Sample preparation. The size of the plate of the crop meter is 22 cm into 8 cm. Hence the sample size is 22 cm and 80 cm. Two samples are taken, one for dry state, one for wet state. Rubbing action is done on the both sides of the sample. So the color change in assessed in the sample with the gray scale 
and the color staining is assisted in the clogging cloth with the help of grease paint. So the sample procedures is followed for the wet conditions and the rating of the color change and color staining is assessed. Dry sample test use the holding clamp to mount the specimen on the base board of the clock meter. The long directions of the specimen is parallel to the track of rubbing. Ensure the specimen lays flat on the base board. Two testers are performed, one along the direction of war, war per length and another is width per width. So mount a dry rubbing cloth flat over the end of the peg of the clock meter and hold it up by means of the spring clip provider. So retest the finger on the specimen ensuring that the spring clip is not in contact with the test specimen. Rub the specimens back and forth over the straight track 100 mm plus or minus 8 mm long for 10 complete cycle at a rate of 1 seconds for each cycle. It may be necessary to stretch some fabric on both the based on the crop meter to prevent the fabric from rubbing up. Wet sample test. Mount test specimen on crop meter base. Bring wet pick up square to 65 percentage plus or minus 5 percentage. Mount crop square on peg. Low, lower peg onto the specimen. Turn crank handle 10 minutes. Air dry and consume crop square. Remove loose fiber and Finally, evolve it. Thank you. I hope all you understand this session.